Hello and welcome to your official Lug guitar lessons. My name's Emily Zimmer. I'm going to be your teacher. Let's rock. <laughs> Remember those flashcards that you got with your guitar? Well, I'm going to explain how to read those and I'm going to show you what it looks like in the Lug app. So you see right here, I've got the app open and it's got a picture of the flashcard. These are exactly the same, whether you're looking at the card or the app. And this one shows you how to play an A major chord. Now in the upper right hand corner, you see this little box. There's a bigger black and white box, and then there's a smaller one highlighted in red. That's because these flashcards are usable for either six string guitar or three string guitar. The big rectangle in black and white is for six string, and the one highlighted in red is for your three string. Now, on your little monster creature here, aren't these cute? I love these monsters. There's a guitar, and you can see the numbers two and three right there on the fretboard. What that means is that you take your second and third finger, and you put them right where your monster is showing you to put them on the guitar. So that would be second fret, third string, and second fret, second string. And that's how you make that A chord shape. So just like this, two here and three here. And there's your chord shape. Now, if you look at that red highlighted rectangle, that is just another chart that shows you that second fret with two dots right where your fingers are supposed to go. So the top of the chart has your first fret, and then the second space down is your second fret, and there's your fingers. Your strings from right to left are your first string on the far right, your second string in the middle, and your third string on the far left. So it's like a squished picture of your fretboard if you were holding your guitar out in front of you and just looking at your fretboard. Now let's see what this looks like for six string guitar. So like I said, the big black and white rectangle, not just the highlighted part, but the whole thing is for six string guitar. So let's look at that chart again. Your strings from right to left are first string, then second string, then third string, fourth, fifth, and on the far left is your sixth string. So it's like if you were holding your guitar out in front of you and looking at it like this. Now we see three fingers on there that we're supposed to play. And we're going to put all three of those fingers at the second fret. So we're going to put those fingers at the fourth string, third string, and second string like that. Now above the chart, you see little O's. You see one above the fifth string and one above the first string. That means that you play those strings as part of the chord, but you don't need to fret the strings. We call that an open string. So we have a total of five strings in this chord. Now above your sixth string, we don't see anything. If you see nothing, and there's no dots on the frets, or you see an X, that means leave this string out of the chord shape. So we only have five strings in this chord shape. Now in the bottom right, you see a hand, that's like your fretting hand. And you see the numbers two and three in dark circles. Those are the fingers you use for three string. And then you see a one in a light circle. That means you add that finger if you're playing it on six string. And then we see a number four with no circle around it. We're not going to use the fourth finger for this chord. Now let's flip over to another chord and see what that looks like. Here's your C chord. Now you can see that your monster 
is telling you to put the first finger on that first fret of your second string. Isn't that cool? And then in the bottom right, you see your first finger with a dark circle. That's for your three string guitar. And it matches what we have in that red highlighted rectangle. One finger in that first space from the top, that's your first fret, and right on that middle string. Then we have an O over your first string and your third string, so leave those open. There you go. Now if you look at the big black and white rectangle, you have two more fingers on there. And look at the hand on the bottom right corner, and you have a two and a three in a circle. So that's going to be your second and third fingers. So you put your second finger at the second fret fourth string and your third finger at the third fret fifth string and you've got the six string C chord shape. Now what's cool about this is that you can also look at your minor chords right here and you can flip through all of those and read them the same way. And then you can also practice these chords by playing them into the microphone and once you play that chord into the microphone like this you get points for completing that chord correctly now if you'd like you can also practice it with the camera so you hold the neck of the guitar in front of the camera and then play it and if it feels like you're out of tune, there's a tuning button right in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And you can go straight to tuning, fix your guitar right up, and then go back and keep on strumming. And that's how you read your chord charts in both the app and on the paper flashcards. Thanks a lot, happy strumming, and I'll see you next lesson. Remember to subscribe to the Lou Guitars channel and click the bell icon to get notified every time we have a new lesson up. See you next time.